Fans have long since felt something was amiss on the night way back in 2010, when tough and capable welterweight contender, former IBF champion from Ghana Joshua Clotty fought Manny Pacquiao in what was the biggest fight in the career of the fighter from Ghana. Joshua Clotty barely opened up during the fight that was held at Cowboy Stadium, instead fighting an almost exclusively defensive fight. This leading some fans to say then that Joshua Clotty basically threw the fight, with plenty of fans still feeling this way today. Well, it turns out this suspicion was merited. The 45-year-old former champion and retired boxer from Ghana Joshua Clotty says he deliberately lost when he fought Manny Pacquiao. In his own words, Joshua Clotty decided to blow it up. Why? Joshua Clotty was disgusted with the poor money he was going to get from the fight. Not only that, but he was angry at the contract he had regrettably signed with his manager. The deal still having three years to run before reaching its end. Joshua Clotty was not willing to give his all in the ring with the Philippines fighter Manny Pacquiao. Joshua Clotty's manager Vinny Scolpino had already accepted $1 million as payment. Joshua Clotty said, I came in and negotiated $1.35 million. It was a fight I was supposed to get $2 million as the pay. The pay-per-view was $100 for each viewer, but he negotiated only $3 on my behalf out of the $100. Even with the $3, I could only earn my share after 300,000 buys. So if 300,001 people buy, I will earn only $3. Joshua Clotty added, I tried negotiating but they claimed if I can't fight I should leave so I had to take the fight. Meanwhile, my manager was making 33% profit from each pay-per-view income including the fight money. I regret signing with that manager. I was supposed to make more money. I was not happy about the Pacquiao fight because I had three years on my contract with my manager so I decided to blow it up. I even went to his office to negotiate for him to take 25% so I take 8% but he said no. Joshua Clotty does seem to be a fighter who fell foul of a lousy deal, and though no fighter can ever be excused for turning in a non-effort the kind Joshua Clotty did against Manny Pacman Pacquiao, it's not that hard to understand why Joshua Clotty did what he did. Why fight hard, thus risking your life, if you are being, for want of a better word, shafted? Joshua Clotty was a far better fighter than he appeared to be on the evening of March 3, 2010, and now we know why the world never got to see the Grand Master offer much of a fight.